Welcome to Shortcut Reviews, where we get right to the point. And today we're going to look at the minimal trauma kit that I carry every day in my cargo pants. I uh, wear cargo pants 99% of the time. It goes in one of my side pockets. It's unintrusive. I literally forget about it once it goes in there. I'm going to link a video to Paul Gomez doing training with this equipment or with some of this equipment. He passed away a while ago, um, and so we've lost a great trainer in the community. But what he said then is still relevant today with this gear. So let's take a look at it. Um, I carry three things. So I carry duct tape, combat, combat gauze. Uh, this is has a hemostatic, uh, it's quick clot, has a hemostatic agent in it. It's for wound packing. And then a crevasse. A crevasse can be used to uh, fix this wound packing in a, a, in a wound, um, obviously, or it can be used as a tourniquet. As you guys know, every day I carry a zebra pen as my windlass. And when you tourniquet, um, the width of the tourniquet matters. Um, it's easier to occlude blood flow when it's wider and the chance of doing nerve damage is substantially reduced. So uh, twine and wire um, are, not, are not great um, options. The other thing that is no longer a great option tends to be belts. Uh, my belt is a gun belt. It's too stiff to really do any kind of windless action on it. So there you go. Uh, these three things. Uh, crevasse has tons of uh, tons of purposes. Uh, hemostatic agent, uh, duct tape. We can use the wrapper from here or from here to do an occlusive dressing uh, for a penetrating chest trauma. Um, just gives you some options in a very very small package. And again, this is something that's not in my laptop bag. It's not in my range bag. It is not in my car. It is on my body. Um, all those other places have substantially uh, bigger trauma kits that have uh, a lot more capabilities. But this is what I have no matter how far away I am from something better. Uh, thanks, guys, and stay sharp.